Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Shelby if you're new and welcome to my channel. So today's video is a full face using my mom's makeup. So if you want to see if my mama has some bomb products, then just keep on watching. So I have this little basket full of all of my mom's makeup that she uses on a daily basis. Um, I'm just going to tell you right now that I pretty much recommended a lot of these products to her. So a lot of these products are like my holy grails. Um, some of them I just gave to her. Oh, there's a hair on my chin. Yum. Some of them I gave to her just because I didn't necessarily like them or need them or I had duplicates. So a lot of these products are really good products. And then there's some products in here that she pretty much just like bought herself. So... Let's get right into this. First up, I have this Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs, and Rose Water. Yeah. So this is like the pink spray, and she literally never uses this. This is like completely full. <laughs> I don't know why she doesn't use this. I absolutely love this, but maybe she just doesn't like it. So I'm going to use this as my primer today because, unfortunately, she does not use primer. Which, Mama, what are you doing? told you multiple times to put primer on your face but <laughs> I'll definitely get on her about that one so while I let that soak into my skin she does use the wet n wild photo focus foundation she absolutely loves this foundation um, she's tried the L'Oreal Pro Matte and she chooses this over that one so this is definitely a staple in my collection as well and right now she uses the shade buff bisque so this is a little dark for me my mama is a little more tan than me because she's a hundred percent Italian and I'm not aka the white skin but we're just gonna make this work um, I do have this shade as well in my collection but it's for like my summer months when I'm a little more tan you know what I mean I know she applies this right onto her face so I already know this has all her skin germs on it so let's just like forget about the whole aspect she's my mama so whatever the one thing that sucks is my pores are gonna look huge in this makeup tutorial because usually I use like a mattifying and a pore filling primer and I don't have either of those on my skin right now and I can't tell you the last time I didn't use a primer on my skin before my foundation so I'm like extremely scared how this is gonna turn out because I feel like my texture is just gonna be emphasized and it's just gonna look really bumpy and my skin isn't gonna look really smooth so Excuse me if my texture comes through in this tutorial. I'm just going to use my beauty blender to blend this out. Um, I know she uses the Real Techniques like um, complexion sponge, I think it's called. The foundation shade is definitely a little bit too dark for me right now. As you can see, my chest is a little bit more fair. But I tried to blend it down my neck as much as I could right now. Um, I did the best I could. I don't think it looks horrible. Um, it definitely could be worse, so... Let's just keep on going. I mean, so far I give this makeup look an A+, plus, but it's only the beginning. <laughs> so for concealer, she does use a concealer. She uses the Maybelline Fit Me. This is the best concealer from the drugstore, in my opinion, and she agreed because she just loves it. So this is the shade 10 Light. Look at how messy she is. Mama. You messy. This is a little dark for me right now. I'm in shade 15 Fair, which is lighter than this one. But, I mean, we'll just roll with it. Just highlighting where I usually highlight. So, underneath the eyes, chin, cupid's bow, nose, and forehead. She's getting low on this. I feel like she just got this, too. I am going to use the same sponge to blend this on out. The next product is going to be a tricky one. She doesn't set her face because she has more dry skin. Yeah, lucky girl. So, unlike me, I have very oily skin, so I have to bake. I pretty much bake my entire face just because I feel like that controls my oils the most. So, the only powder that I could find in her collection is this Sephora Matte Perfection Powder Foundation. Necessarily, I wouldn't put a powder foundation over a thick foundation like this, but 
we're just gonna have to do it today because this is the only powder she has in her collection. I'm looking in this little box and I'm like, crap. So I have to set my face or else it will just crease. It will be an oily mess in five minutes. So I'm just gonna hope for the best. So I'm gonna go in with this powder brush from the Wet n Wild Pro line. And this shade is a little yellow. So maybe this will lighten us up a little bit. I wanted to try to dip my sponge into this and set. So maybe we'll try that. Sorry if I ruin your powder, mom. Oh boy. No. This tutorial just went from all the way up here to all the way through the floor. This is so dark and so like yellow. This is totally not my shade, but it made my under eyes really, really dark. Crap, I was doing so good. I definitely don't recommend this powder if like you're a, um, if you're a little bit older and maybe you have aged skin because it's like not setting the foundation good at all and it's like emphasizing my creases and I'm only 20 so that's really scary. For a bronzer, I know she just got this. This is the Bronze Essentials from Butte Basics. Butte Basics? I'm not sure. But I know she got this in her last month's BoxyCharm and I don't even think she's touched it. I'm going to try and just dip into like this end shade because I really don't want that gold stuff in my bronzer in this middle shade. Tap off the excess. I look like an Oompa Loompa right now. I can't get over it. Like, just looking from my chest to my face, I'm like, girl, is this, like, the Oompa Loompa challenge? Because I think that's what I should change the name of this video to because that's how I'm feeling. And to contour my nose, I'm just going to go in with this middle shade very lightly. <laughs> For blush, she has two different things. So this is the Real Her <laughs> Real Her Be Fearless Be Limitless blush kit. And it looks like this. So there's like three different shades, which this looks kind of promising. And she also has a NARS blush. And this is in the shade Deep Throat. Looks like that. It's a little beat up. So I think I'm going to go in with this middle shade. Tap off the excess. The one thing that she loves is blush. She That was like the first thing she started applying on her cheeks was blush. And I was like, you love blush, don't you? You just love it. And I was like, you can't just apply blush without a bronzer and a highlight, Mom. You know that. She knows that. I get on her about it. I just joke around with her. She can do whatever she wants. She looks good either way, but I just think it's funny that it was blush out of anything. I would think it would be like a bronzer or like a contour. She's like, I don't know how to apply my contour. And I'm like, it's the exact same spot that you apply your blush. <laughs> oh, cute blush. I really like that. I wish I got that. Mm. So for highlight, she just picked this up. I actually made her pick this up. <laughs> this is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. One of my faves. This is so pretty. I love this highlighter. I knew I would love the highlighter just because it's so pretty and I have it myself and it's one of my holy grails. So for eyebrows, she has two different products. She has the Anastasia Brow Wiz. She's bougie. She got a lot of high on product. What the heck, mom? And this is in the shade Soft Brown. And then she has the Anastasia Dip Brow in Dark Brown. I don't think she could decide which color she is. <laughs> but, um... This looks a little bit too dark for me right now, so I think I'm going to actually try the pencil in soft brown just because I like pencils better now, which I used to not, which is so strange to me. Like
So these are the brows. I think they look pretty good. I mean, not bad. Anastasia Brow Wiz is a great product anyways, so I didn't expect anything less. So what next? I'm just going to set around my brows because I did conceal them with that concealer, the Maybelline Fit Me. And to set the brows, she does have the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I got her on this because I was like, Mama, you need this in your life. This will change your brow game. So she got it. It's totally worth it. So I'm just going to go ahead and set my brows with this product. All right. We're almost done. And for mascara, she has the Tarte Tartiest mascara. It looks like this. Um, it doesn't have any other name on it. And she also uses the Maybelline Big Shot. That's one of her faves as well. And that is the mascara. I think it works really well. I don't think it's one of my all-time favorites just because maybe it's just because it's like brand new and the formula is really wet right now, but I kind of like my mascara is a little dried out. I know I'm a little weird, okay, but I just feel like I can really pull my lashes and it makes them really high and really voluminous and long, so that's just me. So one last product is lips and she has, actually there's two more, I lied. <laughs> so for lips, I found the... Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Rebel Rose. And then I also found the Pretty Vulgar um, My Lips Are Sealed Liquid Lipstick. And this one has like a little bit of a shine, so I kind of want to try this one out just because I haven't tried this out myself. <music> I think this is a cute liquid lipstick. Um, it's really comfortable. Again, usually she doesn't reach for this. Usually she re just reaches for like regular matte shades like this, like really just simple, cute, quick out the door looks. But I thought this would be fun to test this lipstick out because I've been wanting to try it out, so why not? And it was in her collection, so. I'm not cheating. So I actually gave this to her because I have really oily skin and this was just not working out for me. But I will use it in this tutorial. This is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. This is just like a really nice setting spray. I'm going to just shake it really well. Alright guys, and this is the end of the makeup look. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you really enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I thought it was a little different, a little fun. My highlight is popping. Like, girl, you can see me from Mars. Definitely subscribe to join my S-Squad and to not miss out on any future videos. I have some really good ones coming up. And let me know down below what your favorite part about this makeup tutorial was. Was it the bronzer, the blush, the lip? I think the lip is so cute. Um, anything like the brows, the mascara, the foundation. So just let me know down below. I would love to hear what you guys think and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye loves. Mm -hmm.